All right, this is the last problem, I think, that you have on the methods type uh, practice problems. I'm going to do number 24, which is similar to, uh, to 2.8, number 23. Um, I've done this several times now, but I'm going to do this one more time because, as von Neumann said, the famous mathematician, we don't learn math, we just get used to it. He didn't say it exactly like that, but it's pretty close. So the first thing is the domain of a polynomial and the, the domain of all its derivatives are always all reals. That's why we work with polynomials. They're called, if you want the math term, they're called C-infinity functions. Their, their derivative and all their derivatives, like a second derivative, third derivative, are all continuous and nice and well-behaved. So anytime you have a polynomial, you should be going, woohoo, yes. Step one, find f of x plus h, split it out. Take the time to do the work. It's not going to end, you're not going to end up running out of time and you're going to en end up with the correct answer. So f of x plus h is this monster here. All I did is I plugged in x plus h in for x, expand it, and clean it up. Clean that up now so that you don't make errors later. Um, I want to tell you, I think I did make an error and I went back and cleaned it up later, so I found my error. But just so you know, even at being this careful, I still make mistakes. Next, you put it into the ratio. So f of x plus h is that green thing I just did on the previous page copied over. This is f of x. Put those parentheses up. You don't do it. Like everything that I'm doing, I'm a minimalist when it comes to mathematics. You should be doing it too. All right, then drop the parentheses and the signs change. And then you get to cancel things out, and out they drop. And I'm left with this. And now the step that all students skip, and I keep saying, factor that out. Factor the H out before you cancel. Don't try to start slashing here, because that's where errors come from. So there goes the H. And now step three is to let H slide down to zero. There's my notation. I have a minimalist notation. So I remember a, a graduate student friend of mine from Germany would take off a point every time someone didn't write lim as h goes to zero. This is a shorthand version of lim of h goes to zero. It's completely valid. You make an arrow indicating that you're looking at this is sliding down and then h goes to zero underneath it. So the derivative is 8 minus 10x. That's your answer.